brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by Three Piece Tea. Here's another episode from the 2015 College World Series. Good afternoon. Uh, same rules apply. I think everyone knows, so we'll just uh, At this time, we have Michigan head coach Carol Hutchins, student athlete Sierra Lawrence, student athlete Sierra Romero, student athlete Lindsey Montemorero, and student athlete Kaylee Wagner. Uh, coach, we'll open up with general comments about the game, and then we'll talk about the questions. Well, first, you have to congratulate LSU on a great season. You know, we watched him play all year. We watch a lot of softball, and uh, they're just such a great team. They've come so far under Beth Terry and her staff, so um, certainly want to congratulate them and their seniors. But uh, I have to give credit to, of course, the kids sitting up here and all the kids in that dugout. Uh, I just thought, I told them before the game, it doesn't matter who's talented, it doesn't matter who's ranked, it only matters who has heart and who has soul. And we've had it all year, and we showed it again today. We just do what we do. Whether we're ahead or behind, we just keep playing in our moment. And I thought I could just had an outstanding effort against a very tough team in a very tough tournament. So I could not be prouder to be their coach. And we're going to play the championship series. It's a great achievement. We're very excited about it. But as I said, you know, we, we came here to win it. We're coming here to win it. And we have a very, very, very tough opponent. All right, questions? Kevin Sandow. Kevin Sandow, Michigan Daily. Uh, Sierra, Kevin Sando, Michigan Daily. Sierra, uh, with so much on the line in that last at bat, how are you able to stay composed and get the job done up there? Um, just being one pitch focus and believing in myself and knowing that if I didn't get it done, someone behind me was going to get it done. Steve Cornett, GambleBlue.com. Sierra, when you saw it go down the line, knew that you're going to score at least one round, hopefully two. You run into first base. Just talk about the emotions that, that, that you're feeling at that time. Yeah. I don't really know that I saw it good on the line. It's just running. And as soon as I got to second, just wanted to look at my team and sprinkle the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and and you, you hit well all year long, but lately you hadn't come up with as many big hits as you had been coming up with. Talk about the importance of that hit today for you. Well, I, don't, I only had one at bat in that game. That was my last at that. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Ted James, Michigan Daily. Coach, we saw the team standing out in a circle after after the win. What was said in that meeting? Just tell them I'm proud of them. Their effort is what we've done all year, and that's all we need to do. That's all we need to do tomorrow. We just need to do what we do. That's good enough. Chris Crowder, Michigan Daily. Um, Haley, Hutch was talking about the heart and soul. How do you think um, the heart and soul of yourself has benefited you in the circle and um, in the dugout this whole weekend and today? My heart and soul is everybody's heart and soul. So we play as a team, we win as a team, we lose as a team, and we go out there and we play every single pitch together. So my heart and soul comes from everybody else around me. Oh, sorry, Angelique Shingelis, Detroit News. Hutch, I asked you this question the other night with Betts and with the, the change to Wagner. Well, what happened there? And and can you talk about the performances she's had these last two games? I'll tell you what, I think it speaks for itself. She's come in and she's energized us. She wants the ball. She's attacking the hitters. And she's giving us the um, confidence that we need on the mound. And that's that's what the pitcher's job is to do. Set that tone that we can win this game and I'm going to do my part. She's just been outstanding. Her leadership on the mound has been fantastic. and. Um, you know, we have such a great one-two punch. She's just come in and with that left jab has been fantastic. Have you seen anything consistent with, with, with Betsa these last two games? Uh, in terms of, you know, why she, she struggled a little bit. I suppose Megan needs to not focus on the opponent. She needs to stay focused on us because we're the only people on the field that matter. She just needs to throw her pitches, and uh, I think she might be a little bit focused on the opponents as we're facing some pretty darn good opponents. But... Um, that's what makes it all sweeter. But he's done a great job of staying in the moment. Okay, Steve Karnacki, I'm going to blue Carol, <laughs> if you could share with us <coughs> before Haley went out to throw the, the seventh inning, what you told her, and also characterize her style, her pitching style. I think I told her if you're as excited to go out on that mound as you have been every inning, that would be good enough. 
That's all we want. We want somebody that wants to go out there and have the seventh inning. Not afraid of the what ifs that can happen, you know? And she went out there, she was excited to have it. She might have been a little over for that first batter, I'm guessing. But uh, her style, she's Amy Wagner. She's been a workhorse for us for four years. She's had her opportunity to play in the World Series, and I'd say her, she's done pretty well so far. Uh, Michael Kenny, Norman Trashko. Uh, for all the players, just talk about this. How first of all, just how excited you are just to be playing for the championship tomorrow, and then what do you expect to see from uh, the defending champion uh, for the games? Hey. Um, I mean, we're as excited as we could be, but I think the toughest thing is it's going to be a really, really tough game, and we have to go out there and attack. Florida's a great hitting team, a great defensive team, and they have everything for them, and we just have to come out and attack and play with our heart and soul because we're just as good. Thank you. Um, I don't know if it's completely hit me yet, but um, we came here not to just compete. All year we had a goal, and our goal wasn't to just make it to Oklahoma City, but it was to win the championship game. And Florida is a great team. Um, we've played them this year, and we've had great battle with them. But we can't focus on them. We just have to keep focusing on us, and we'd be okay if we just keep focusing on us. Sierra, I don't think it's hit me yet either. Um, you know, Florida is a great team, and it's going to be a good game, and I'm looking forward to it. Sierra Lawrence. Um, I'm just going to treat that game like I treat all the rest of the games this season, and I'm pretty excited for it. And I expect Florida to play a good game just like we'll play a good game. Kevin Zando, Michigan Daily. Uh, this can really apply to the whole team. This is the first time in a while that you've struggled to put up a lot of runs early. Was there anything that Hoover was doing that was throwing you guys off at the plate? Sierra Lawrence. She's a good pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Silo said, she's a good pitcher. And I think we were just trying to do too much. Um, like Hutch said, we were playing the opponent for a little bit, and then finally once we settled down and focused on ourselves, you know, we were able to play Michigan softball. Amazing. Yeah, like they said, she's a really good pitcher, and sometimes we get too overamped and we want to do too much. And once we just um, think about getting one base, because it's all about bases, once we think about that, um, we normally can string together a few hits and get some runs. I mean, they basically said it, um, but I think that LSU has a great pitching staff and they just came out attacking, and I mean, that's what they're going to do. Everybody in the World Series, they're good and they're going to fight an attack, and we just have to go after them. For Sierra Romero, if you could talk about your home run and, and also the run that, that you helped steal there in, in the sixth inning. Um, the home run. Um, I was just trying to get on base. I was just trying to hit the ball hard. If I'm going to get out, I at least want to be a hard out. And... Um, I just saw the ball and I hit it, and it just helped me go out. Um, the rundown, I was ready to have some fun with CeeLo. Um, <laughs> I know how she runs, I know how I run, so I knew that was about to be really interesting. Um, you know, it's something we work on in practice, and it was definitely something I trusted CeeLo with, and she did what she did, and we got the run. Kind of Scott, Michigan Daily. Uh, Coach, after coming from behind twice to tie up uh, LSU and being deadlocked for a few innings, how were you guys able to fight through that and come up with the runs in the six that have been hard to get for you all day long? You know, we're in the World Series. Runs are hard to get. You know, we're facing great pitching. They have the deepest staff. Um, and Florida has a pretty deep staff as well. Um, and we, we were just fighting all game. And the first time through for the when we see a pitcher that we haven't seen, we haven't seen LSU this year, you expect the pitcher to have an edge. And the second time through, now our hitters have at least a little more information to work with, and they've seen her, and they made her throw some pitches. So, again, we don't care if we're behind or we're ahead. We just focus on what we're doing at the moment, and the, the game doesn't know if we're behind or ahead. The game just knows if you hit the ball hard. Follow up with that real quick. You guys have seen Florida before. Does that take away from the edge that their staff might have otherwise? Uh, at this time of the year, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're playing outstanding ball, and honestly, I watched them the first night we got here, and I think they look like the Yankees. <laughs> I'll let you know later. For <laughs> Lindsay and Haley over there, I'm kind of wondering what you take away from playing for Hutch, whether that's on the softball field or they can't say that off the softball field. Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you want to hear my true feelings? Or? No, I'm, I'm to totally kidding, totally kidding. Um, Hutch is a great leader. She's super inspirational, and she knows how to push you to be your best. And even though sometimes it might be tough to hear, um, 
she knows what she's doing and having someone like her believing you it gives at least me it gives me a com tough a ton of confidence and just having her there believing in all of us believing in me um her wise words i mean she's been there she was a great athlete and just putting your trust in her it allows you to become great so i mean it's a privilege to play for her hey, we uh, it's an extremely tough question because there's so much to say about her. But, I mean, I'm just amazing. On on the field or off the field, she's always there for you. She's such a great leader. She's so smart. She's been here so many times. And she's we've had our share, fair share of up and downs, that's for sure. But in the end, I know she wants me to be the better person on and off the field. And she keeps pushing me to my limits. And I just keep going. And she's the reason why I'll leave Michigan a better person and player. I'll be in your doghouse any day of the week, Hutch. <laughs> That's good because you usually are. <laughs> <laughs> right, any other questions at this time? At the Pete LaFleur College Softball 360. Coach, a quick question about the format. One cool thing about the way it's structured you play a regional, you play a super regional. Then you kind of just played a regional here, but you crossed over, and now you're. Play a three a three game series like you did in the super regionals. That the NCAA likes it like that because it preps you. And back in the day, you know, you just had one championship game. If you can just talk about how ideally the best team is going to be the champion, win out two out of three, and, and what do you think of the format? Well, the format, you know, we played the first one ever, and uh, I remember thinking, you know, that the rest of the country was finally catching up with some of the power softball areas, and now we we're going to have to beat them more than once. And then we did, so I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> um, it's a fantastic series, and you want the best team to, to win. And it's not really about if you're the best team, it's if you play the best. And to play a team more than once, I can tell you right now, it's, it makes it tougher than ever. It's tough. Super Regionals have made this game so hard. It's made it so hard to get to the College World Series because it's tough to beat a team of this caliber. There's so many teams are so great. It's tough to beat them twice. It makes it great. It's great TV. It's great softball. It's made us all better. It's made everybody better. Jason Kersey from the Oklahoma for Sierra Romero. On that fielder's choice there in the seventh inning, was she trying to trip you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's what it looked like, but uh, I respect her for it. Um, you got to do what you got to do for your team. Um, I probably would have did the same thing. Um, it's part of the game, you know, in the heat of the moment. It happens. We have time for one more question. <clears throat> Hutch, I'm just curious. A lot of coaches don't let their, their players talk about the, the confidence level that this group has talked about and the desire to win a national championship and how they feel like it's a little legitimate chance. Why why are why is this team so confident? Why are you feeling like it's, it's okay to talk about it and, and you know the swagger that they have and, and this confidence level is um, is something different to hear from them. Well, I think uh, I really believe that if you set a goal, you have to own it. And if you can't say it out loud, you don't own it. And it's not whether or not we win the championship, it's whether or not we go for it. Hi, my name's Andrea Durant. I'm a two-time national champion with UCLA, a two-time world champion with the USSA Florida Pride, and a 2008 U.S. silver medalist with Team USA. I believe that the three-piece tee is a great tool, whether you're just starting out playing softball or you're a U.S. Olympian, because everybody needs balance in their swing, because balance is power.